What's up, guys? Mike Black, Mike the Mac. Mr. Mills definitely not inside of any buildings. So, look. I finally got my own eggs for my own chicken. So there's five there. There's five more over there. And there's probably two more outside. But look, a month later after that big toolbox for $20,000 fiasco, which I was amazed that it was that much when I seen that first bill, I was like... <laughs> I said, wait a minute, this thing's costing me 20205 bucks or whatever? He said, yeah. I said, no, get it out of here. Get it gone. So I brought the red one back in, finally. When I took that big, huge box out, it had all these tools in there. We had to throw them on the ground. Now I'm missing my giant rack of Matco blue sockets. I got a big tin with blue ones. So these are your standard red ones from Matco. And I've always really liked Matco tools, right? Those are Matco, but I love Snap-on, too. You know, Snap-on right there. Right there, and right there, and right there, and right there. Uh, and right, oh no, those are Macos. So yeah, these two are the new Maco. <laughs> Lord's goodness. Those are the new uh, Maco lollipops. I just got those ones a month ago to replace some that were lost on my Snap-on deal. So anyways, long story short, the tools were all over the ground. Now I'm back with my torches set up and my torches and tanks and my chain fall hanging up. I got all my power tools hung behind the toolboxes. Junk drawer, electrical charging drawer and machinery top. Then you got your super drawer for your sanding devices and all your burners. Your hammers drawer. Ooh, look at the wrenches. All my gear wrenches, all my little snap-on goodies and gear wrench goodies. Yep, I'm going to get a macro set of wrenches too. And this one I emptied out. That's where I tried to fit all my... I tried to fit all my sockets in there, but you couldn't get the door to open. Yep. Oh, a little drone, a little pocket drone. A little remote. <laughs> yeah, so it took a month, man. This place is a pigsty. There was dirt under there because all the tools were on the ground. We had to get the big box out, clean and wash it. And I still had to buy this one for over $2,000 just to smooth the ice out and not get stuck for $20,000. So it's almost like they still stuck me up. I feel like I got got still. This thing ain't worth no damn... That thing ain't worth two thousand two two twenty two hundred twenty two dollars. That's what it was. All twos, all two. Did you hear me stuttering? I never stutter. That was like t t t t I was like Dave Rohde. We knew this guy in Wisconsin named Dave Rohde. He had a stutter, a, sl a slur, and a, and a slight, slight, slight lisp. And he say, "Hey guys, what's shaking? Let's go down to the Wisconsin River. You can surf and see some stuff." You ever notice that people with a lisp always say stuff with S's? I don't know what they sit in the dictionary and just look for everything with a lisp, a stutter, and a slight, slight, a slight slur. Yeah. But if you ask his name, he said, Dave Rohde. Not a slur in there. So when you first meet the guy, you think he's normal until he starts speaking at you, barking at you. Bark, bark. 